Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. This is take two. We were having some camera problems and we had to start over again. I'm so excited that you're joining me for tonight's video. Tonight I'll be sharing three new projects with you, two Christmas cards, one using the Christmas Scotty bundle that just arrived this week. In fact, I haven't even made the card. It's in my head, so hopefully it'll turn out out the way that I wanted to. Well, we're going to make a second Christmas card and a fall card. I've got some amazing mail call to share with you. And I have a very special guest joining me tonight. It's mom. Hi, everybody. Mom is here visiting. Dad is too. I always, I always just say mom, but dad is here as well. And so is um, Bella, their dog. We have two Bellas in the house tonight. And um, <laughs> she was just over here checking it out. She's trying to stay close to mom. Mom's not going to share any stamping tonight. She's just sitting by my side. She's going to be my Sue stamper and help me out, maybe clean my stamps. I don't think I have my cleaner near. You just get, you don't have to, you don't have to look. It. You can look it. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. It looks like the camera is looking good on my side. Give me a thumbs up or a heart. Make sure you can see and hear me okay. Um, and we're going to get started. So I got this new Christmas Scotty bundle. This is in the July through December mini catalog. And let's see, I've got two pages marked. I think it's this one. Um, right here. It's on page 34. Do you guys have this one yet? It is, um, it is a punch bundle. And so it has a punch that coordinates with this Scotty and then the other ones you can fussy cut if you want. Um, but so many fun options. I wasn't going to get it and I wasn't going to get it. And then I caved because I mean, look at the bundle price. It's only $36 and 75 cents. And mm -hmm. so, I mean, anyway, I got it. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for sharing. It looks like we're good. I see all your thumbs up and hearts and lots of hello moms. Aww. So I'm so glad you guys are all joining us tonight. Okay, so we're going to use this Scotty and I literally after dinner came in here and sat down and I was like, okay, what can we do with this Scotty? And there was a card we made at Stamp Club last night. Do I have it? Okay, we did this one last night where we the little window um, and the rustic harvest paper. And I just love this like window card. It's so easy. Cute. And I was wanting to do something similar, but um, instead of having a window that goes through the card, I'm just going to put the window through the designer paper. So I've got some pieces here, real red for the card base, and then uh, four by five and a quarter for the white, a little bit smaller for the green designer paper. This is three and three quarter by five. And then another little paper. These are both from the Sweetest Christmas designer paper. So this is a 12 by 12 designer paper. It goes with the candy cane bundles, but it's got just a lot of really great Christmas colors with the different reds and greens. Um, and so I thought it would be kind of fun for our Christmas Scotty. So I picked out some stripes in the green color. And so we're gonna start with our window using the Label Me Lovely Punch. And we're gonna put that in the corner. And I'm gonna go all the way in and then just kind of line up the paper with the side of the punch to create our window, which is now nicely in the corner. And by layering it onto the white, then we have um, that space underneath. So the other fun thing about the Scotty stamp set is this cool plaid. And I noticed while I was getting ready to make this card with you tonight that the plaid extends out some of it does um, in different places and that is so that you have something to line up with so the nubs here of the plaid fit inside the spaces here and the nubs here fit inside the spaces over here so the idea is that you can line it up and I'm sure though I haven't tried that this will go with the stamp apparatus and do like a hinge technique, right? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Usually they think about those kinds of spacing. You guys know I don't use my stamp apparatus enough, so I should get it out and try it. But I'm more of the just fly by the seat of my pants and try to do it <laughs> on my own. <laughs> so I'm going to show you um, how to line them up, just free balling it. But um, we are going to do a kissing technique tonight. Mm. Hopefully it'll turn out the way I'm thinking it will. This is for the inside. I thought I had another white piece, but I'll just grab. Okay. 
Oh, what a mess. I'm going <laughs> to grab on some extra paper. Okay, so first I want to try this kissing technique. So the kissing technique, if you're not familiar, is where you have a stamp with pattern and a stamp without pattern, and you kiss them together. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to try this way, but we could also do it the reverse way. So I inked up the plaid and then I'm going to take the stamp with the um, bow and I'm going to stamp it on to pick up the ink and then stamp it. I'm trying to think how I need to do it to get it in the stamp. Oh, oh how cool is that, right? So then when you punch it out, don't make me want this. Don't make me want this. She says too late. <laughs> Oh, Sherry noticed the new tabletop. Do you love it? <laughs> oh my gosh. So mom bought flooring for her desk and it came in a big roll. And so she had some extra. So she brought it to me. So literally I just cleared off my desk, shoved everything on the floor. And then I rolled this out. It's really cool. I'm trying to think if I can roll up like the corner of it and show you. Um, uh, it's not quite going to go in there. Okay, look Look at this. It's like soft. It's like spongy. It's really cool. And I love the way it looks. So I'm so excited, Mom. Thank you so much for You're sharing. So it works <laughs> um, great for photopolymers, too. Because it does. Because it has the cushion. So tell me what you guys think of... Um, tell me what you think of the desktop. And what do you think of the kissing technique? Isn't that really cool? The other way I was thinking that you could do... And this would kind of be like... Um, like a reverse is where you ink up the stamp with red and then you stamp on the design and it takes off the plaid. Now this has got ink on it. So we'd have to do like a, um, we'd have to try to get all the ink off. Any wipes I can clean it? Um, well, my, my chamois came in from the, um, I'll find it. It was in the kitchen bucket. I think that we packed up or, I don't know. I had, I had a class this morning and so <laughs> I was bringing stuff over from the kitchen. So it's mostly clean. I think it'll work. So if you ink up red and then you kiss it, then you are removing the plaid. I like it better the other way though. I think you get a better design where you ink the plaid and then put the dry bow on it. Um, it's all right if you can't find it, mom. Oh, she did get it. You're amazing. Um, let me, let me show you how this plaid lines up. And hopefully it's as easy as I think it is. Um, okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna stamp it once. And it, it's photopolymer so you can see through it, which makes it easier to line up. And then I'm looking to put the, um, the nubs in the spaces. And so I'm just going to kind of look through and line it up. Let's see how I did. Well, not totally oh, perfect, yeah. but I think it lined up pretty good. Yeah. A little practice, and that makes perfect. The other thing you could do, now that I've stamped this, is you can punch your Scotty dog, either with the ribbon or the dog, right? Like, isn't that cute? Just like that. Yeah. I mean, there's not a plaid dog. Like, dogs don't come in <laughs> plaid, but I mean, <laughs> it's cute for some creative license. He's wearing pajamas. <gasps> Pajamas. What? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I need to make a dog in pajamas. <laughs> oh. <gasps> what? Maybe the dog on the inside. I don't know. I'm like, I'm just, my mind is like, no. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm going nuts with the pajama idea. Let let's let's stamp a real quick. I wasn't gonna have pajamas. I think that's too much. Um, I think it's too much pattern for this card but let's stamp um let's stamp up a oh what if I oh there's a piece of plastic in there can you give me that a quick scrub mum yeah. um <laughs> I don't want to say it out loud but he's, he's got a hole in his bum <laughs> Oh, okay. Dear. All right. Let, let's try again uh, with our Scotty talk. Um, no holes this time. Do you want me to put pajamas? Cut pajamas? Um, yeah. So I'm thinking just cut the, um, the, the tail. 
And yeah, and then the bottom of the feet, so his feet can stick out, right? Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> I know, poor little Scotty dog. Uh, oh, I didn't quite go close enough to the edge, so I'm just going to kind of give it a trim. Oh, I am just dying over these pajamas. So mom is trimming off. Um, <laughs> she trimmed off the feet and the tail and the head. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. He's so cute. He's so, so cute. And now he needs like, we need to do a solid red bow. Where are my scraps at? Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, here I got one. Um, <laughs> ah! <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're not we're not using him tonight. I'll have to come up with another card. Um I don't know. I suppose we could. Maybe I was gonna use the plaid bow, but maybe we don't use the plaid bow and we just put our our pajama guy on there. Also, he's facing the wrong way. So maybe I just turn him around that way. Is that too much pattern? Hmm. <laughs> okay. You let me know at home. Do you think it's too much pattern? Should we use our pajama dog? Or my plan was just to use a regular um, Scotty and use the plaid bow. Let's do one more. Just to see what it looks like, huh? Oh, it's so cute. See, I think I kind of like that. I like the contrast of the black. Yeah, I do too. Um, but the we'll, like, gonna yes, we're going to have to come up with something. I think we need to go straight across with this collar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just I love that. A girl dog and I put some red rhinestones. <gasps> oh, oh, yes. I had red rhinestones. Where did I put them? Um, they might be oh. They might be in the bin I brought from the kitchen. There was, I think there were some in there. I thought they were in there. Yep. Okay. Okay. You know what? Our pajama dog is just going to be on the inside. There you go. <laughs> I was going to do, um, I was going to do the sitting dog on the inside, but um, we'll just use the pajama dog instead. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, <laughs> can you see it? My big hands are in the way. <sighs> Seriously, the cutest <laughs> little dog. There you go. I feel like I want to cut the feet just a smidgy more. Okay. I still want to show that there's legs there. I think that's good. And you could even put like a red rhinestone right there. Oh, there. yes. Yeah, I'm the queen of bling. You are. Well, I was thinking the bow needed something too. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh, my gosh. So stinking cute. Okay, we got a little sidetracked. A but <laughs> I think it was worth it. He's still going on our card. She um, is still going on our card. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. There needs to be five, right? So I'm trying to add <laughs> a fifth to the collar. Just ship it over. Okay. We're going to do, I'm just going to do some regular adhesive. And then this is going <laughs> to. There. Oh my gosh. All dressed up with nowhere to go. <laughs> it could be a dress, I guess. It doesn't have to be pajamas. Um, all right. So we've got our card. <laughs> I have some, I think I might still use this on the front. Um, it needs something to anchor it down. Maybe, maybe a solid red. Um, maybe a solid red piece instead. We'll have to have another vote on that and see what you guys think. Um, so we have a striped piece or a solid red piece. I also brought in the ribbon. Is this the one that goes with the sweet, the sweetest candy Christmas? I think so. I think if so. You me the candle, I gotta look real quick. It's the right colors. Um, the red and the green. 
All right, so for the front, I have Merry Christmas. And so I'm going to line these up. Yes. Oh, Charles with Sweetest Christmas. Oh, good, good, good. I thought so. Sometimes it's close, but it doesn't quite match. So we're going to line these up and we're going to stamp Merry Christmas in the window. And then we're going to have our. We're going to have our dog. And, um, and then we're going to do, Nancy says, I wonder what the dog's pajamas would look like. Oh, if the plaid was at an angle. Yeah, that would be cute too. Oh, do we have, we have some more plaid. Let's see. Oh, that is going to be cute. <laughs> Good call, Nancy. Oh, sometimes I just don't think about things like that. Nancy's always got an eye for detail. Just going to trim, trim. And decapitate. Oh, ah, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's just tear this one off. See, I feel like you guys bait me. You bait me into tearing things off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 Julie. <laughs> Try this way instead. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, come on. I think there's still adhesive on there. Let's put a little more. I do like, so there's the difference in the plaid. I just think I do like the way that looks. Do you want me to blow them up while you keep going? Yeah. Do you think you can transfer those or you want to just start new? I'll just start new. Okay. Mom's going to bling them up for the inside. Um, and so, okay, we're looking over here at the front of the card and we're trying to decide between the stripes or just a solid red to go under the dog. I think he needs like a little something to anchor him. Oh, I actually kind of like that red. Um, Jennifer's asking what punch was used to create the window. That was the label me lovely punch just in the annual catalog. One of my favorite shapes, really versatile. Um, I think I'm trying to look at some of your comments about, um, the stripe versus the red and hi, Zandra. I'm so glad you're joining us for the first time. Welcome. 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 Um, and thank you guys for sharing. Okay. Um, I do like the red. I think we're going to go with the red. Yeah, there weren't a lot of comments about stripes versus red, but I'm seeing some comments that say red. So that's what we're doing. Um, what about ribbon though? Like, piece of green? yeah, just like a little, a little bit of green underneath. Yep. Okay. Or gold. No, not gold. No, stick with green. Okay. Um, did I cut? No, I cut red. There you go. Oh, so cute. <laughs> All right, I got to get my ribbon scissors and cut a better angle. All right, ribbon go that way. Bow, we're not doing the stripes. That's on the inside. We got to do a little more stamping for the inside. Our inside sentiment. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this. It says, may your days be furry and bright. Oh, I love a good pun. Right? <laughs> oh, no, no, don't resist. Get it. <laughs> and then we'll put our guy here. My original plan was to put uh, this one in the corner. And um, I think he looks pretty cute, too. I'll show you. Wasn't he cute? He's, like, jealous of the, of the, um, <laughs> jealous of the, uh, the pajama queen. Um, all right, but we got to use this pajama queen. So she's going to go on the inside. And just do some regular adhesive. What are you looking for? Black marker. A black marker. Oh, oh no, no. It's so cute. It's Bella. Oh, <laughs> it's Bella. Oh, is this one black? Nope, that's too super. Oh, that's 
Maybe that is, there's black. Mom's gonna draw in an eyeball. <laughs> Do you think you can? You want me to do it? That's okay. I'll do it. I'm just going to do that same pattern. Oh my gosh. So cute. Okay. That's for the front. Let's close the ink pad. We've made such a mess. How, do, how can we be so messy? Let's see my tail. <laughs> the question is, how can, how can you be not messy when you stamp, right? Is that one too old? Yeah. Um, let me see if there's another black button. Sorry. Both of those are black. It's gotta be right. It's gotta be perfect. I'm glad you're testing it before, before you're putting it down. All right, I'll have the measurements in the video description as well in case you want to duplicate our Christmas Scotty card. So stinking cute. Regular adhesive to put the layers down. Regular adhesive. Oh, so sweet. I love. I feel like she needs some eyelashes. She does. <laughs> she does. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So cute. <laughs> we have our little striped here. I'm gonna do a little banner tip. So I'm gonna cut for to the center and then cut from each corner to the top of that center. That's how I get my nice even banner tips like that. And you can go as deep, um, as deep as you want or as shallow as you want for your scallop or not your scallop, but your points. I'm gonna come across here and then just trim the excess off. A little bit of, a little bit of green ribbon. And I just put that down with regular adhesive. Yeah, it's too big. I was gonna give her a bow on her head, but too big. Oh, so cute! Oh my gosh, I just love it. I want to dry her, draw her an eyeball. Is that too much? Go for it. Like, uh, you dry it. I don't want to ruin your dog. Yeah, what the heck? It's just paper. Okay. Oh, and it's even a head. Oops. Well, <sighs> I feel like I want to do like a, oops. You did the hard part, which was the, the eyelashes. Oh. What do you think on the eyeball? Should I add one or not? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. Okay. So it's like a Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> they, they look like they're going out on a date. <laughs> they're going out, going out on the town for the night. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just love it. You can put them both on. Like that, the front. Will they fit on there? Oh, I'll be better, better be careful. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you're dirty. <laughs> Hi, Thomas. <laughs> oh, okay, I think I'm just going to stick with one. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't want to get, um, we don't want to get mixed up. I feel like it's the same dog that's gone home and put on her pajamas. May your days be merry and bright, right? This is the outside. All, all dressed up to go out. Oh, my gosh, so cute. Okay, we got some bling, we got some ribbon. I'm just gonna add these on with a uh, glue dot and some Stampin' Dimensionals. Hmm. And then put this on the card. Maybe one more Stampin' Dimensional under the head. All right. This was my in the head card. And I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but I think it was good. I think so. And even better than I planned with the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. May your days be furry and bright. <laughs> 
All right. Are oh you? My goodness. <laughs> I know, right? So, so stinking cute. Well, we've got another Christmas card, and so we're gonna roll. We're gonna keep going with the Christmas. We're gonna do one more Christmas card. Then I do have a card for fall and some mail call that is kind of amazing this week. So you don't want to miss out on that. Um, if you don't mind, Mama, have you clean? No, I was gonna say give me the safety so I can. Um, yeah. Here we go. I love having a little helper. This is great. You should come all the time, Mom. Um, all right, I have a box. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we'll just put them. Put them away. Okay, so our next card is also Christmas, and we are using the Trimming the Tree stamp set. Now, this is actually one that's in the annual catalog, and you might remember in September it had um coordinating dies that went with it i didn't get the dies but i picked out the stamp set when we had that stamp sale in september remember there was a discount on all the annual catalog stamps and um um so i picked up trimming the tree and we're actually featuring trimming the tree this sunday in our sunday stamping video so make sure that you tune in and see what mom and i have created um there's some more cards i'll be sharing and mom's got a card with trimming the tree but i wanted to use this um today to show you um a card and so i'm pairing the trimming the tree um i'm pairing the stamp set with the lights of glow designer paper this is a six by six paper from the mini catalog that features soft succulent evening evergreen cherry cobbler and gold foil this paper is so gorgeous it's six by six so this is the size that it comes in and there are 12 different designs the, each package includes four of each pattern so really versatile patterns that you can use throughout the season and honestly like well this one i thought how perfect is that for like a halloween night oh yeah right um, and then some of these, like this just screams Happy New Year's to me with the gold and the black. I always feel like gold and black is so perfect for New Year's. So we're going to do a little bit of embossing. Uh-oh, where did I put the heat tool? I bet I'm going to have to plug that in. Um, I didn't think about that. Um, so I will, I'll go around the bend and... Plug that in a second. We've got a two-step stamp. So we've got the bolt and then the detail that goes inside of it. Um, so I got both those colors, the soft succulent and evening evergreen, pulling those from the paper. I'm gonna use my embossing buddy, Versamark for the embossing, and then I've got my card pieces. So our card base is going to be evening evergreen. I have a piece of whisper, not whisper white, I do that all the time. Basic white for the inside, four inch by five and a quarter. Um, some designer paper. This is um, for the front of the card. This is five inches by two inches. And then I cut out this paper. And when you cut it in half and cut it in half, so it's three inches and three inches, you get a three by three square that has that frame in there perfectly. A little bit of soft succulent for the greeting. And inside the frame, I have a two inch circle, which I'm going to stamp on. So there's our layout. I actually did this layout um, for our team layout challenge so i um in our team group on the jubilant stampers page we do um a card layout challenge we have new layouts twice a month and then um once a month at our meeting i draw for a prize and someone wins a stamp set for participating um in the challenge so it's so much fun and this was the layout we used we had a piece at the bottom and then like a square image and a thing so it's been so much fun to see what everybody does and their little take on on the challenge and the layout. So trimming the tree and we're gonna stamp those trees. I actually need mom, if you could turn around right behind you, center, um, nope, down one on top of the flat box. There is my grid paper, the small pad underneath these flyers. Cool. Um, I always forget to get that out. So we're going to do the stamping first and Thanks, Mom. Um, we're going to stamp on the circle and we're going to stamp on the inside piece. And so I'm gonna stamp the, um, the large tree first in soft succulent. Leave a comment and let me know if you have this stamp set. Maybe you got it during the sale. Um, it's brand new in the, in the annual catalog, this, um, this last annual catalog in the spring. 
Um, and then on the circle, I want to leave room for the star. So not much of the tree is going to go on this circle. But I love that in the frame, it kind of looks like you're looking through a window. It's kind of cool. And then the next color is Evening Evergreen. And both of these are um, in colors that are going to go away in the spring. Yeah. Um, so if you like these, make sure you oh, stock up on your... Um, Re ink refill and cardstock and all that good stuff and then that detail kind of goes in there but you still get a lot of the white so um did you I, try stamping it a couple times um i i didn't i only stamped it once um you could stamp it again without re-inking over just a little bit i think you, yeah you can kind of see it um and then on the inside i have some sent a word sentiment words i mix the two um may your season be merry and bright and for the outside on the green this is five eighths inch by two and a half inches I just got ink on myself um it says happy holidays i think i got it did i just make it worse um, I think that's okay. Um, I thought I was crooked, but I like it. Um, all right. So then the last thing to stamp is the star. And that is going to go on here. We're going to do the embossing buddy, especially since we just stamped. We don't want any of that, um, embossing powder to stick to the green ink that we did. I feel like you could do, well, I, I always say this, all the cards that I do, I feel like you could substitute other tree stamps, other designer paper, and create, um, you know, create a similar card, create a similar layout. That's what I love about the layout challenges, is that you can take a card, you know, and change up the designer paper, change up the image, and just, you know focus on the layout and come up with a card that looks totally different but still just as amazing all right I went through that really quickly and I'm sorry if you've not embossed before I stamped in Versamark ink which is a watermark stamp pad that allows well the ink just stays wet longer so then you can put on the powder and tap off the excess which is what I did and now we're going to heat it and melt the powder so I've got to just go around to the other side of my desk and plug in my heat tool I had to unplug my lamp. Did it get noticeably darker? Um, we're going to use the tweezers, which come in the embossing toolkit or embossing additions toolkit. I do love that. And they're like ceramic on the end so that um, they're resistant to the heat. All right, so I'm going to turn that on in heat and you can kind of tell when it's done because it turns shiny. And you don't want to overheat it. It takes the shine away. Ooh, it's magic! <laughs> oh, that little bit of shine on this star is just what we need to incorporate the foil on the paper. And we're going to use a little bit of gold twine. This comes from the Simply Elegant trim, which I thought was retired. And then someone was like, oh, do you have some I could borrow? And I was like, no, that's not current anymore. And they're like, yeah, it is. And I looked and I thought, oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a little figure eight. Um, just kind of a rabbit ears back and forth. And you know my trick. I always love to do this with the tear and tape where I just use a piece of tear and tape to hold down the trim onto my skinny strip. And I want specifically um, to angle this way. So I just want to make sure that's going the right way and then I'm going to add the tear and tape like so and then we'll add that to the card so let's glue everything down because I think we're just about just about done 
I'm going to just use regular glue to add this to the frame. And I just love, I think I said that, how it looks like you're looking through a window. Yeah. Some of the designer paper on the bottom. Just evenly spacing this from the sides and the bottom. This is going to go on the inside flat. And then we're going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals to add the square and her words. If you have other Christmas tree stamp sets, you can easily substitute any tree. In fact, there is a tree in that, um, what's the bundle that goes with this? Designer paper, the Lights of Glow designer paper. There's a bundle that has a, a tree in it. I think it's called Christmas Lights. I'll tell you in one minute. So stamp and dimensionals, and you can go at an angle. I'm going to go straight on this time. Christmas Lights bundle. Hey, I got it right. Uh, let's turn the page and we'll bring it in where we can see the... Um, the tree. So here it is on page 32. Uh, so this is the bundle that goes with the designer paper that we're using. So it has a tree and you could easily use that tree um, and do a, same, a similar layout as we're doing on this card. Thanks mom. Sure. All right I'm going to do some um, regular adhesive on one side and some stamp and dimensionals. It is going to overlap a little bit with this piece, which already has stamp and dimensionals. So that's where I used the regular adhesive. Ta da! Oh, <laughs> thank you. I, I, you can definitely come back if you're going to clap for me. <laughs> um, so. I was debating whether this needed more bling, but I feel like with the gold and the embossing and the trim, I kind of feel like it's good. What do you think, Mom? Do you think it needs? Uh, well, of course, you know, I'm always playing. I would put maybe, uh, if you want to do anything, some gold dots. Yep, there you go, the gold pearls. Well, and just maybe put a few, like, ornaments on the tree. Oh, ornaments on the tree. I love that idea. Let's get a look. This is the Festive Pearls. It has red and light green, silver and gold. So we can use, I cut my nails recently. <laughs> I don't have very good. I'm just gonna do three, just kind of yeah. dotting, dotting down the tree. What do you think of that? Little bling. Oh, we need one more. <laughs> <laughs> Now we need five. Ah, it never ends. Gotta space them out better. There you go. Too much? No, no, Stop touching it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's my problem. I always just keep fussing. <laughs> just keep fussing. Very, very cute. Oh my gosh. So this is the Trimming the Tree stamp set. Make sure you tune in on Sunday at noon central time over on YouTube. Um, and we will have more project ideas using trimming the tree. I'm doing more with the lights that glow um, designer paper too, a fun fold and mom's got, mom's got a fun fold too. They're both really awesome cards. You're going to love them. So make sure you tune in on Sunday for Sunday stamping with Susan and Julie and check out the cards that we have to share with you. I'm going to do a quick little tidy up of my, um, of my, oh, mom's going to put the stamps right here. You're so amazing. Thank you so much, mom. <laughs> All right. Our I next card, <laughs> our next card, we're going to switch gears and kind of go backwards. Um, we started with Christmas and we're going to go backwards and do some fall. Oh my gosh. I really, really, really love the card that we're going to make. Um, oh, I need to cut one more piece of designer paper for this one. We're going to use the Soft Seedlings stamp set and some of my favorite colors for fall. Crushed Curry, Pumpkin Pie, and Cajun Craze. We're also gonna use the Time Worn Type 3D embossing folder on this card. And I'm um, sorry, gotta get the big shot up here. We have a little um, crumb cake for the sentiment. I said big shot. You know what I meant. Stamp and cut and emboss machine. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody at home. 
them was. <laughs> they, they were going to yell at me. Oh, thank you. Um, okay, so I need to cut that designer paper. Um, let's do the stamping first, and then I'll cut the designer paper piece. Okay, so our card base is five and a half by eight and a half. I have a piece for the inside that's four by five and a quarter. A piece for the front that is, um, I forgot. <laughs> oh, actually, I need to trim it down. Um, when we made this card um, this morning in Stamp Club, I trimmed it down to three and a half. So it's three and a half by three and a half. It's a square now. And while I have the paper trimmer out, let's cut. I got my button ear, Mom. <laughs> we're going to cut some of the Rustic Harvest paper. We're using the Crushed Curry pattern. And we're going to cut this one at three inches. Nope, we cut it down to two and a half inches. Two and a half inches by five inches. Okay, I'll have the measurements in the video description for you. We're gonna do some stamping on these two and the the little one, and then we have this for our, um, our accent. We're gonna get our grid paper back out, and we're starting with the crushed curry. Now, I love this stamp set for beginners because it's really simple, right? There's some simple imagery, some simple greetings, and, um, I wanted to dress it up a little bit more. So you could keep this card simple and not use the embossing folder, or you can use the embossing folder to do a little texture. So we're gonna start with that big, um, that big leaf, and we're stamping in um, crushed curry, and I'm going to stamp just in like one corner. Oh, look at the detail on that stamp. Amazing. It's really pretty in, um um, greens too. Oh yeah. Um, I feel like it's pretty in so many colors. This is one of the distinctive sure. stamps. So you get kind of that, um, that shading and the variation. Mom is cleaning the stamp off camera for me. Thank you, mom, because we're going to switch ink now and do pumpkin pie. And so we're just going to rotate it and we're going to stamp in another corner and clean it again. And then we're going to do our last color, which is Cajun Craze. That's the dark one. And rotate it again. Oh, look at that. I'm going to stamp this while I have it on the inside piece. Oh, I love it. Um, and then also we're going to stamp the sentiment, thinking of you, on crumb cake. This is three quarter by two and a half inches. I'm gonna try again. I like that better. All right, so we've got all our stamping done. I'm gonna show you the basic layout of the card and then I'm gonna do the embossing. So we're gonna have the designer paper in the center. We're going to add the square on the side and then the sentiment over, I just have to decide where I want the sentiment. I think the yellow is the biggest. I'm gonna cover up the yellow one a little bit. Okay, so this is the, the basic idea. We're gonna have a little twine underneath the sentiment, but I wanna add a little texture and step up this card a little bit more. So I'm gonna take the, the card stock that we've stamped. You definitely wanna stamp it first, and you're gonna put it in your embossing folder. Again, this is the time-worn type and we're gonna send it through the die cutting machine to add a little bit of texture and just kind of turn up the turn up the notch on this card a little bit. When you're using embossing folders, the fold goes in first. So this is kind of backwards. Usually I would come from the other, other angle and just crank it through. You're using plate number four on top. That's the dark gray specialty plate. That's the one you wanna use with a 3D embossing folder like this. So you have your platform and the embossing folder and then the specialty plate on top of that. Let's open it up and take a look at this amazing texture. Oh my gosh, I just love that so, so much. I feel like it really just, turns up the notch on this card, doesn't it? 
Now, embossing is the theme for the great big card swap. And our next video showcase is coming up on Tuesday. So be sure to tune in to see all the amazing cards I've received using the embossing theme. So that could be embossing folders. That could be heat embossing. If you haven't sent in a card, golly, I would send it in tomorrow, maybe. I would worry about it coming. Um, so my advice is if you're sending in a card this late in the game for the next showcase, I would make it a Christmas card that also has embossing because the next theme in November is Christmas. So if you use a, a Chris, make a Christmas card that has embossing, you'll be covered for either theme. This is going right in the center. Again, this is two and a half inches by five. Three and a half by three and a half is our leaves. And I'm going to put that on just with regular adhesive as well. And then we're going to do some loop-de-loops behind our, our sentiment. So I'm just kind of wrap it around, wrap it around my fingers a little bit. It was a little tight. I want to go a little bit, a little bit looser on it. And I should have done this ahead of time. Little glue back here to hold that adhesive or the, the twine down. And I just love a little bit of linen thread on fall cards. I feel like it just, okay, stop playing. Um, some Stampin' Dimensionals in three places. Have you got this stamp set, Mom? Yes, I yeah, did. Yeah, I love this one. You gave it to me. Did I? You did. You sent it to me. Oh, that's right. It was one of the top sales, um, one of the top sales gifts, and you're always so amazing. I gotta catch up on those. I think, um, I still need to send out the ones for... Oh, this is September. <laughs> oh, here's the finished card. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. I know you could add some bling on here, but I think with the texture and the different colors, I kind of like it. My my style is really simple and um, not not as much. Um, I think the linen thread is just perfect. So we've got three cards that we made tonight using different designer paper from the mini catalog. We started with our Scotty, and if you tuned in late, you may have missed out. We made pajamas. <laughs> we stamped that plaid and punched it out and then just trimmed the dog punch down um, to put pajamas on our Scotty. And then we also did the kissing technique to do the bow. That was really fun. And then we created this one with the lights aglow and trimming the tree. And again, you want to make sure that you tune in on Sunday to see more samples with that amazing stamp set. And then we finished up with this fun autumn card using the soft seedling stamp set and then embossed it with the time-worn type embossing folder. I'll put the link to all the, all the products that we use tonight in case you want to um, get them for your own stamping collection. You can order all of these goodies in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. But before I let you go, I have some amazing mail call to share with you. So I, I almost forgot. I'm going to start first with um, the team swap cards. So um, mom, I think yours is actually... Where's that bag of cards that you brought for me? Uh, I think it's on the island. I will go get it. Um, so my team does a one-for-one -one card swap every every other month or so. And this theme was fall and autumn. And I always try to participate and send a card to everyone. Um, I shared some of the cards last week with you. And so you may remember some of those. So I got the rest of the cards and I just wanted to show you the rest of them. They're so much fun. Um, this first one is from Melody Lampert. And she used a fun embossing folder with the splatter back there, some metallic and shimmer designer paper, and the leaf label and amber gems. Isn't that just fun? I love this color combination, which comes right from the designer paper. Pumpkin pie, Cajun craze, and pale papaya is the light, um, the light orange color. Just fun so much fun for Melody. Thank you so much for that one. Oh my gosh, this one, mom, this is so cool. This is from April Booth and she's got a panel oh, back yes. here with the, um, <laughs> the cute kids. Did you get this one from April? Yes. This is the flashlight technique that she said she saw on Pinterest. Okay. So we have, um, a window sheet with black stamping and black cardstock underneath. And then a, um, this is just a white die cut circle on a skinny black um, 
handle and it goes in between. So there's like a little pocket. Of course, I took it out and now it's not going to go back in. Um, a little pocket where this goes in. Come on. Oh my goodness, I broke it. <laughs> there we go. I think I was trying to put it in the wrong place. And so the flashlight technique, you move it around and you see all the images. Isn't that clever? This reminds me of um, in the evening when we take the dogs out, I always got to get the flashlight out and um, <laughs> from the, from, <laughs> got to get the flashlight out and shine it around the yard to make sure that they are not doing things they're not supposed to be doing. Um, like one of my dogs likes to eat poop. <laughs> and so I don't want to go outside if I don't have to when it's dark and cold. So I use my flashlight and I shine it around the yard to make sure that she's not, uh, <laughs> she's not getting into anything. But I thought this was so much fun, April. I've never seen a card like this. And I was really excited to get it. So thank you so much for sharing that fun technique. Isn't that cool? So this is just, again, um, just like a pocket with window sheet, you know, clear acetate, and then the black cardstock behind it. Oh my gosh, I love it, love it. Here's one from Carmen Melendez, and she used the Fond of Autumn. Is that what that one's called? Um, I love this one. I really need to use it some more. It's got some gorgeous acorns, leaves, and a beautiful die cut. Do you have this one? Nope. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Oh, it's a fun bundle, though. I really love this it one. Is. This one's in the July through um, December mini catalog. This one's from Jennifer McLaughlin, and she did this fun pull-out card. I love the greenery die used here. I think it is so perfect with the Rustic Harvest designer paper. Jennifer, I love this card. I'm so glad that you sent it. The colors just make me so, so happy. Oh, next up, the squirrel. Oh, my gosh, you know... I like this squirrel stamp, though I don't have it, but I hate squirrels. We had some really pesky squirrels at our old house that just got into everything. And we have a squirrel moving in to the tree in the backyard. Mm -hmm. And Jim made up this, like, pepper spray and sprayed it all over the tree to try to, like, get the squirrel to go away. It didn't work. He's still, he's still building a nest. <laughs> this one is from Kathy Gruby. Nuts about squirrels. So cute. I love the colors. Old olives, crushed curry, pumpkin pie, and Cajun curries. And this squirrel is cute. I'm just not a fan of real squirrels. <laughs> oh, I love the bright colors. This one's from Andrea Wellman, and she used new in colors. So we've got Orchid Opulence Card Base, Starry Sky, um, Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, and then that fun flowers with the different colors sponged on it, too. So much fun. This layout is one from the World Card Making Day. I did the um, World Card Making Day class with the one sheet wonder, the kind of cutting template. So we've got the strip and then the two squares. Um, I kind of feel like that was also, or maybe another layout mystery stamping that we did. Did we do one that was kind of like that? You might have. I've lost track. This one's from Juanita Dotson. She is not a team member, but sent me this beautiful card just because. <laughs> um, and so that came in the mail this week too. I love this background, these colors. I don't usually think of Bermuda Bay for fall, but isn't that, isn't that pretty? Yeah. yeah. I love that one, a fun embossing folder too. Juanita, thank you so much for that card. Uh, this team swap is from Jackie Cox. I had a little brain fart there. This is a slimline card, so it has the coordinating slimline envelope from Stampin' Up. And this is the bewitching bundle with the cute witch hats and the boots as well. I know, these are the in colors, just like Andrea's card. Andrea's card. Um, and we've got the Starry Sky, the Sweet Sorbet, the Parakeet Party. Oh my gosh, so much fun. Jackie, I love your card. I'm so glad um, that you participated in the swap this time. And mom's card, this is mom's swap card here using the Rustic Harvest. Oh my gosh, I just love these colors. Cajun Craze, Mossy Meadow, um, and of course, blinged up with some of those rustic um, metallic dots. Love it, love it. Did you want to share some more cards, mom? Oh, oh, these you are just had them in your pile. Oh, I think, your pile. Okay, I think the other ones are all Sunday stamping cards. Yes, they are. So you can't see them. Or you yeah. already saw them. Most of them you already saw. One of them you haven't. Okay, 
Last part of the mail call, I got a really amazing package from Susie Eater and her granddaughters, Emma and Madeline. Emma and Madeline used some art supplies to decorate oh. this notebook for me. Look at that. It's got a little pocket, too. Isn't that just so much fun? Just keep swimming. <laughs> <laughs> I love, 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 love. And on the inside, oh, my gosh, <laughs> these stickers. And these colors, I just love it. You guys know, maybe maybe you don't, but I love that whale stamp. I was obsessed with the paper, and mm -hmm. this reminds me of that. So Madeline and Emma, thank you so much for decorating this notebook for me. I feel so, so very special, and I am honored that you created something for me. Susie also included some other projects, um, including this one with a triple envelope that comes Ooh. down. We got a bag of tea here in the first pocket and then some pebble embellishments in the second pocket. And Holy look chocolate. at that. Oh yeah. Caramel apple milk chocolate Ghirardelli. Yummy. This it's is, adorable. isn't this just fantastic? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then a little template for the envelope so I can create, um, create one. I love that Susie. Thank you so much. And oh my goodness. <laughs> we have a template for an amazing card oh box. God. I know. I feel so spoiled. Susie, you guys outdid yourself. Thank you so much for this amazing package. It truly <laughs> made my day. Okay, so uh, I, I, I guess I can put this out here. Um, although... I'm not sure if it's helpful. I'll pause it for a second so you can see. Um, she said that she was inspired by Rachel Tessman's Heart and Home card box. And so we have, this is the card base. So the card, oops, it has Velcro. The, so the card base is the bottom part. Let me take these out for a second. Um, so the card base is the bottom part. And then there's the card flap. Um, which is a second piece, and that's what this is. So the second piece is, um, well, I'll just pause it, and you can take a screenshot. And a screenshot. I'm <laughs> moving my fingers. Oh, my gosh. And Rachel Tessman. <laughs> so, so awesome, Rachel. What a great project. So colored, solid colored paper. And then she's even got the, the tear and tape. This is so amazing, Susie. I cannot wait um, to give this a try. Thank you so much for including the template. Let me get this other one here. I know. It's so, so amazing. So amazing. And then the places for the tear and tape here. Okay, so we got this awesome box and the perched in the tree on the front. And then Susie included cards oh, inside. Yeah. I know. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I love how she decorated all the envelopes too. Look oh, at that. Man. I know. So this is all the Perched in a Tree bundle, which is in the July through December mini catalog. Um, and I am just floored at the detail on all these cards. Just so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, this is this a easel? No. It looked like maybe it was. Um, and then look at this one. We've got a little gatefold oh, card. Look. I love how she colored that. I cannot color. I've, I've been yeah, scared of this bird. Can. I've been scared of this bird because, like, it's so, it's so intimidating. <laughs> um, oh, look at this one. Look at the sponging oh. on that. Oh, my gosh. Just so beautiful. Susie, I feel... Oh, oh, this is one of those cards, the, um, oh, what do you call these? It has a, um. I'm trying to remember. I, I still haven't made one like this. So fun. It's like this pop, pop out diorama. Oh my gosh. I love it. I can't stop playing with it. <laughs> This is just so beautiful. Oh my gosh, Susie, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for all of the beautiful cards. Oh, wow. Um, Heather says, how did she do the stamped background trees or is that designer paper? It's um, from the yeah. bear with the, uh... the... No, this one is the Rings of Love designer paper. That was um, the trees. This is the celebration. Sure? Yep, I'm positive. Okay. It was like the pattern that we didn't use a whole lot because it's got something else in the back that's really cool. Um, mm. Rings of Love, it was the celebration paper, July and, um, 
thank you, Barb floating card. Um, this one, uh, that was really cool on the inside. <laughs> um, Christina, you missed the cards that we made, so you'll definitely have to watch the, um, definitely have to watch the replay. Tony says the bendy pop out card. Um, oh my gosh. So many, so many awesome projects. Susie, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All these cards fit into that amazing card box. This would be such a great gift to do for someone and create a set of cards to give for Christmas or for a birthday. I just love, love this idea. I think it's so awesome. So Susie, thank you. Madeline and Emma, thank you so much. You guys made my day. Um, with your amazing package. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, you guys, that is all for now. Um, again, I'll just put these back out here. This is what we made tonight. This is what you missed, Christina. We did some Christmas cards. We did some soft seedling autumn. Be sure to tune in on Sunday um, at noon central time for Sunday stamping with Susan and Julie. Mom and I are going to share some projects with the trimming the tree um, bundle. And then on Tuesday at 7 p.m. central time, uh, the great big card spot. We'll have that over on YouTube as well. So lots going on in the next couple weeks. I'm so glad that you were here tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on those upcoming videos. If you're on Facebook, then make sure to like and follow me over there. And uh, what do you got, Mom? Any parting words? It's fun to be here. <laughs> Mom literally arrived just a few hours ago, so our visit is just getting started. And we're so excited to spend yeah. some time stamping yeah, together yeah. this week. All right, have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, everybody.